Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much for joining us for the Tim and Jim Show. I'm Tim Sohn with Sohn Social Media Solutions, and I'm so happy to be here today with, take it away, Mr. Jim. We're here with, I'm Jim Fuse of Fusion Marketing, and Tim, why don't you introduce our lovely guest? Yeah, so I am so delighted to have Nancy Lewis Hill here today. And I met Nancy Lewis Hill at Social Media Marketing World. And there is a funny story that goes behind this. And Nancy, why don't you tell people a little bit about yourself, what you do, and and the funny story that, <laughs> that you may want to share. What an incredible lead in for me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So yes, that's uh, that is my name down there. That's Nancy Lewis Hill, and I am the uh, lightened up socialpreneur. And what I do is, I help people work their way through to get their nojo over to mojo. So taking out the heaviness of life, business relationships, lightening it up, and making it fun. So that is uh, that's essentially what I'm about. And the story that Tim alluded to is actually creepy but good right <laughs> <laughs> i i hope so yeah it's good it's good it's good i mean i'm here right if it wasn't good i would not be here that's true with invitation today so yeah. uh yeah so i met tim uh online you know we had a, had met uh, through the social world that we we all do here and you know tim being who he is he was out there and i met him and said oh this is an interesting character uh, he does good work. And then I realized he was volunteering for uh, Social Media Examiner's Social Media Marketing World 19. I thought, oh, all right. He's down, going down there and connected there. And so there's a little bit of a background of why I tell you this is because now we know each other through the screen. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I'm in Boston. Uh, well, that's where my airport was coming from. And I didn't really realize where Tim was going to be coming from. And it doesn't make sense that he was at my airport. But well, yeah. <laughs> none at all, none at, none all. at all, really, <laughs> it, it just it shouldn't happen this way. What did have? So I, was, I I'm, I'm out there doing my thing out on the uh, in the waiting area, you know, the gate, and you know, recording my live here. Yeah, I'm out the airport getting ready to go. Da, da, da. And I hop on the flight and just kind of scroll through my stuff. And I get a message, you know, little Facebook <laughs> message because up goes, hey, are you in Boston? <laughs> yeah. so, are you are you on your flight? Are you on the plane? <laughs> yeah, it's Tim. And I say, uh, yeah. <laughs> that is a little creepy. Right, so I decided to bring it. Doing the blue shirt in front of me. I don't know if you can tell this story. Oh, this is good. So I divulged my flight number and I'm like, oh, why am I doing this, right? And it, yeah, my flight. It's like this. It's like, yeah, I think I'm on your flight. Turn around. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, try to slow turn around. I see the hand. Now, nowhere else in the world would it be okay, right, to stalk somebody, <laughs> except if you're going to some big event like Social Media Marketing World, because that's what it was all about was who do you know online? Who have you met online? To take those personalities from <laughs> the online <laughs> world and, and bring them together in a human world. So we did laugh about that. It was the only place on earth where it would be okay to stalk somebody <laughs> in a sense. <laughs> so that is, uh, that's how I met Tim in the, uh, in the real world. Yes. Wow. And so it wasn't too freaky because when I was invited to join the two of you here, I did not run. I thought it was great because he's, he's actually a pretty great guy. So, and so you, actually, you actually met him before me because yeah. we didn't meet until we got to San Diego, even though we've been doing the show and since August. See? The magic of digital stuff, right? That's right. That's it right. Magic. It is I the magic. That. Yeah. So that's how it all began. And so I, I have a, uh, yeah, it was, that was a great event, by the way. I mean, it I was think, so cool. Yeah, so many people to meet, so many, so many things I didn't even know existed in the uh, social media world. Uh, you know how to get yourself out there and and why or tools and man, there's so many really really sharp people out there in the industry. So, so and it all changed two weeks ago when Mark Zuckerberg opened his mouth. 
<laughs> well, I don't know if it all changed, but no, no. Our favorite platform, my dad. Maybe yes. a little bit. Yes. Yeah. 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 Um, okay. So so today we're talking about personal branding. We're talking about how to have fun with a personal brand. So Nancy, why don't we start out with what is a personal brand anyway? Yeah, right. I don't know. I'll tell you. <clears throat> I sat with that one for a while. I remember, you know, it kind of tread in water. Um, I don't I, I, Some people, some people wake up and say, this is what I want to do for the rest of my life, right? I don't know that everybody does, but there are some people I believe that do, and that's, you read about them. But in the social media world, it seems like most people evolve into this, you know, they, it's like, I have something I do well. And now I know that there's a, um, you know, social media, a way to get that out to the world, right? So I'm no different than that. I came into it and um, just because I'm, I'm really, I know, shocking, I'm really social and I don't mind making people feel comfortable and getting to know them. I mean, I made Tim hug me and I really don't think he's a hugger, but he was that day. <laughs> Why? You don't think I'm a hugger? Jim, know. do you think I'm a hugger? <laughs> hmm. I don't know. That's a good question. Well, I, 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 th I think you hug people that you know, but I don't think I don't think you're a Christine Gritman hugger. Oh my goodness! I saw that. I saw that in action too. <laughs> yeah, I hugged him first, and I thought, okay, I guess the door is open. But so, getting into that whole social media world, right? I remember people saying, "Oh, you know, you really got to work on your personal brand. That's so important. What's your brand?" I kept thinking, and now this is like, you have to. One of the things that I do is is I will say things the way I feel, all right? So it break it down to normal talking language. You know, the emperor's got no clothes. I'll just tell you that. If everybody's telling you otherwise, I'm like, I don't see it. So I remember thinking, what the heck? A personal brand. I don't even know what that means. Like, So I, I was spinning my wheels doing that thing about, oh, it's the colors. That's what it's about. It's about colors. So I spend some time picking colors. I don't, And I kept thinking, I don't know why colors matter. I mean... And then it was like, oh, it's about your logo. So you spin your wheels about your logo. And then it's all of a sudden, it kind of dawns on me somewhere in the growth of all of this. The whole thing about the personal brand is, you know, what is it that's you? You know, what is it that your vibe is, right? What is it when people are done seeing you or your business, your company, your product, your service, whatever way you, you reach out to them, connect with them, right? What is it that they think of? when they think of you. And it, it doesn't have to be such a really monumental task, but what happens is I think um, I think we forget why we need to have it, right? You know, the, the, it, it becomes like, it becomes a thing that we need to have, right? It's, it's something that we need to master. It's something we need to find. And then we fit ourselves into the thing instead of making that thing become what we are uh, from what we are we flow into what that thing is right so i find that um i found that i was trying to create this brand of like yes i'm a i'm a strong warrior woman forging into the entrepreneur world and i was like this is so <laughs> uncomfortable it's like <laughs> it's like i've got a wedgie and everybody knows it but <laughs> what's going on <laughs> Like this is not fitting. Something's not right. So, personal brand is essentially <laughs> that. It's your personality, what uh, um, what you want your company or your personal self to be reflected out there. So when people look and they say, "I know that person," and every and when as soon as I think of them, I think this. You know, I either you know, in my case, it was it's. The smiling and lightening up—it's just what I am and what I do. So I might as well make that my brand. You know, it may be, um, you may just be a really organized person, and that's your thing. So when you do stuff, it needs to reflect that that's what you're about. Because when people think of you, it's always like, oh my goodness! As soon as I see that thing there, I always think of this person because they're so organized. So that's that's what the personal brand is. It's how you're going to go out there in the world when you're not actually out there talking. You That's a great point. Brand, Jim? What's that? Do you have a personal brand? I mean, I'd like to think I do. I mean, I'm Fusion Marketing, which is a play on my last name. And I make sure that my photo is what represents me 
as my business on all my platforms as opposed to hiding behind my logo. I, I think that's part of the personalization. And that's one of the things when I work with businesses, even if they want to use the logo, say they're part of a like a franchise, like, well, have a photo of your team somewhere so people can connect because, you know, it's like Mark Schaefer says, you know, the most human company wins. And if we're not human, if we're not ourselves, I mean, and how many people did you meet, Nancy, at the conference that, you know, kind of like you're talking about with Tim, they appear one way online, but then in real life, you're like, oh, that's not the same person. And I don't think I like them. Yes. Yes, and that happens, I mean, whether or not at that conference, but that happens over and over. And that was one of those things, you're right. Like, if you don't match up with it, it's going to come out some way or another. And it's just, you're in in business, I'll stick with the business aspect of this, but in business, someone is going to finally meet you based on what they thought you projected. And then when it doesn't meet up, uh, you, you run the risk of having the wrong kind of clients, and the wrong kind of businesses that are uh, attaching to you. And th at that point, you run the risk of having uh, bad reviews because you know people just, it isn't necessarily the work you did at that point. They're just all of a sudden, it, it, nothing ever felt right from the moment they started to link arms with you when they met you in person, you weren't at all. Well, that was about, you know, you put out a, you put out some kind of a thing that, like I said, I'm this super strong warrior, entrepreneur woman. <laughs> and then you meet me like, oh, Oh no! <laughs> I, don't just, I don't see any warrior going on here. <laughs> I don't want her put throwing her into the ring to fight for me, but yeah. So it's uh, you're absolutely right. It's when you you do get a little bit taken aback by wow, that wasn't at all what I expected. And I like that too. The um, I like when the people put if you're gonna put a logo and you're gonna have a brand out there that's a logo and a, an emblem and all of that, but to bring in the personal part of it, to bring in the attachment of oh. Who the people are? Oh, he fell. He'll be back. He'll be back. He'll be back. <laughs> He'll be back. Yeah, and having the people that are attached to who you are, what you do, your company, yeah. your business, it really does matter because, you know, people want to know who they're working with, and it doesn't. It doesn't. When I say about fun with the personal brand, that's a whole other thing too. Because if if you're not a Bullwinkle person, you don't put Bullwinkle in your brand. It right. Is, exactly. You know, it doesn't exactly. fit. <laughs> yeah. And we'll talk a little bit more about that. Yeah, really sure. <clears throat> so why should so why should somebody have a personal brand anyway, Nancy? Well, you should have there's a there's a multitude of reasons I give on this and oh, you're back. No, it was really weird. Everything like froze and so Gage always says if, if StreamYard messes up on you, just refresh, and usually everything goes well, back to normal. So, yay, StreamYard, and good to have you back. You were so missed. It's him. I was consoling him for a good time. You were gone so long. We were in tears over here. <laughs> I was already donating my stuff. Like I can't even go on. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason you need a personal brand and the value behind it is, man, oh man. When you are, uh, let's talk about the fact that when you're connected with somebody on a human level, right? Like, just like you said, Mark Schaefer brought that out. You have a more personal reason uh, why you like that person, more personal reason why you want to deal with that person, and you're less likely to just run. You know, there's more of a chance of a loyalty that goes on because, you know, it, it, I'm I'm really big on live events. I'm I'm really really big on being live because. And and these types of pseudo live events are huge for me too because it creates that eye contact. And when you can look into other people's eyes and you can see other people's expressions, yeah. <laughs> 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 well, you now have a you have a you have a much deeper connection because the typed word can do anything, right? And and you can walk away from the typed word. You're like, you know, I don't. I don't really want to follow this person anymore. I don't want to be part of their community. I don't really want any of what they're offering. You can just delete. And it's so easy. But when you've made a connection with somebody, when they feel like, oh my gosh, you and I are like, we're almost kin. When that happens, you have a stronger relationship with whatever it is, whether it's your 
um, it's a, just a job relationship or your business relationship or just whatever kind. You, you have to have that connection. And if you can't have the eye contact connection, the, the very least that you can do is have a similarities connection. You know, the I get that. Oh, my gosh, I've been there, too. I lived there. I was on that plane. Stuff like that. And it's so important if you don't if to have that personal brand so that the people who want to know who you are get a feel for who you are. And you have to be OK with letting the people who <laughs> who may see who you are and go, yeah, I'm really not into that. So, right. Okay. No, I think that's that's a great point. I mean, just the fact that, you know, not everybody is going to be, you know, in our tribe. Not everybody is going to be on our team. Not everybody's gonna like us, and that's okay, you know. Why not, Jim? Why not? Because not hate, haters gonna hate. That's it. Yeah. Uh, and I and I and I love what you said, Nancy, because I I agree. And like even for me, you know, I I relocated in October to Atlanta, and I've been going to a lot of business networking events, and that's really what's been helping my business even more so than being on the digital space. I mean. I have folks that are now watching the show because I've met them in person and, mm. you know, some of them, you know, it's like, Oh, I love watching the, your guys show. You bring up great information, okay. but that wouldn't have happened if I just did this online thing. And, and I think that's where sometimes these agencies, I think fail in my opinion is people want to do business with people. I don't want to work with a company 700 miles away that doesn't understand what's going on in my backyard, but they'll do it for, $99 a month and you get what you pay for. <laughs> peeps love peeps. <laughs> Are those those little yellow things that people have at Easter? I don't like peeps. <laughs> I do. <laughs> we'll, have to do we'll have to do a poll sometime. Do you like peeps? <laughs> oh my gosh. I think I did. I think I might have done that. You did? I, I might have because it was a, it became a debate in the house. I'm like, oh, peeps, that's so disgusting. I'm like, yeah, but they're great when they're stale. Jim, take the next question here. So, Nancy, because we're we're obviously, I think we're having fun today. How does fun come into the equation? Oh my gosh! Funny you should say that. Wow, my goodness. Oh, wait a minute. That is the subject. So, fun comes into the equation because what we do is is when we get bogged down with the task of what's my brand and I need to have a brand. It goes back to that wedgie thing, right? You have to be able to have fun with your brand. Now your idea of fun and you know, somebody watching here, whoever you are right now, that's looking right at me, whatever your idea of fun is, is fun. Okay. So my idea of fun, I have a, I have my bullwinkle back there for reasons. Oh, you know, I have my own personality fun, but that isn't someone else's fun. So some, somebody else's idea of fun might be um, just the way that they present their material. You know, they, they, the way they put their things together, the way that they can package something and deliver it to somebody. I don't know. It, it, everybody's fun is different. Or my fun is, uh, you know, maybe maybe you're a lawyer and in your spare time, you love Harley Davidson's and you love riding them. You know what? Let it out because it doesn't it doesn't cheapen you. It doesn't cheapen your brand. It doesn't um, break down your uh, your product that you deliver. Your relationships are actually increased because now you're having fun with your brand. This is something that gives you fun and it, you don't have to be giddy about it. It's a very different level than me. You don't have to be giddy about it, but it's the fun part. It's what makes you feel fun about what you're doing. So when you're talking to somebody, again, it comes back into, say you're just a lawyer. And when I say just a lawyer, I mean like you're not a comedian. You're not a performer. You are a lawyer. You process things. But somebody you're connecting with knows you like Harley Davidson's. And now there's like this bubbly feeling that kind of goes between the two of you because you're like, yeah. And you can get your work done, but that's you. you are now having fun in the space that you are a genius in because you brought in the thing that makes you feel good, that makes you, um, I don't know, bubbly and passionate, if that uh, makes any sense. No, it does. And I, and I think that even helps that whole connection of 
things outside of just that work where you will attract people that want to work with you because you have that commonality. You know, if somebody like I, you know, I have a dog and, you know, people that like dogs like, oh, they it's like, oh, I can relate to you now because you have a, a dog, too. Or, you know, or the fact that you like Rocky and Bullwinkle, I can relate to that, you know. Hopefully, you know, Tim won't be talking about Natasha and we'll be okay. But, uh, <laughs> we'll have to cut you right out. That's right. That's right. But no, I think that that's a, that's an, a, a great point. Um, Tim, how do you bring fun into the equation for your, for your brand? Fun. I don't know. Am I fun? You're funny. I try to be funny. I try to use humor in my, in my uh, ways. I don't know if I really have a strategy behind my fun. Mm. Should there be a strategy behind my humor in my brand, personal brand? The strategy behind it, that's a whole nother question. It, that breaks down into uh, what uh, business strategy or whatever your, say it's just your personal brand for other reasons, but like I said, we're staying with business, right? That we have to know where we're going with it and what we want to achieve with it. So. I could bring in all kinds of other fun things about me that I don't really think leads anywhere down my business strategy. So, <laughs> all right. So you have to be able to discern which ones are, are actually, uh, they give you a good feeling, but they also take your business where you want it to go. Exactly. Uh, you don't go down cuckoo lane if you don't really want to deal with people that might identify too much with that. But um, yeah. to be able to, like, even like you said, Give me your dogs, right? I mean, it doesn't mean that everybody who likes dogs is going to like Jim, right? Right. It's just kind of like, you know, to, to know that Jim, I now can picture that you you, uh, you have a dog that you enjoy being out with. And when you have a picture of that dog or, or a T-shirt that has, like, the dog's name on it, I don't know, a mug with the dog's face on it. But it's just kind of like it's kind of a fun thing because sometimes it's a matter of I didn't expect to see that. Or if you can see this picture. Uh, right. see? there you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> she, yeah, that was that was a, the camping camping shot um, that, that they did at, the, at a local dog uh, dog place when I was in North Carolina. That's but great. but but you bring you bring up a, a great point. I I think that's maybe the idea. I think behind the whole stories evolution. Mm. Uh, be more personal. That's where you can bring in the fun because if you mess the fun up, it'll disappear after 24 hours and you can protect the innocent. <laughs> 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 but yeah, it's little glimpses, right? And it's like sometimes uh, the fun for some people is the spontaneous, oh my gosh, I had no idea you did that kind of a thing. Like, I don't know. But maybe you have a, a certain hobby that, People would never think you do that. You know, maybe it's crocheting. I don't know. And then it's like somebody's like, I did not know that. And I'm not going to dwell on it. I'm not going to make it a whole session. But it's like a nugget. It's like a little something that, you know, it, it was kind of fun to let that little piece out and have somebody go, wow, that's kind of cool. You know, there's more to this person than just, you know, a, a, a business behind a computer screen. There's more to this person than just, you know, phone calls or, or live streaming. There's it's kind of this person has a little bit of a fun side. I get it's good to know you have an outside existence outside you, of the box. Do you think though too? And I, and I know I think I've struggled with it, but I think maybe I've gotten better at it. Is you know, and I think more of it's just being in front of the camera more. Is you know, I there I, I don't know. Some people would say I have a funny side, but I think I've also because of my background of you know being a marine, people look at me as being very serious. So. To bring out the fact that I can be funny and fun, it's, you know, you almost feel like how how much do I want to let these strangers into my personal space and how do you balance that? Yeah, that is a, that is definitely a balancing act. Like I said, it's how much you want to let out, right? It's like I told you, I've, I've got things that I enjoy that other people want to be like, oh, that's cuckoo, but <laughs> you have to know what feels comfortable for you and that's that's exactly what I mean when I say that uh, it has to fit you. So what you're comfortable letting out about yourself, like what you, like your humor, you have to know your audience. Like some people 
I mean, if you're in Gary Vee's world, you know, your humor yeah. can be just about anything. And people will be like, wow, that was outrageous, but it's okay, it's Gary Vee, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what, what fits in your brain? What fits in your comfort level? What, you know, the people that you want to attract into your business and you want to have as loyal people in your life, you know, what would they want to see? And what do you reserve for just your personal life, totally personal? Uh, what do they not need to know a whole lot about, right? So even your humor falls into that category. You know, you can goof around. Right. You know, like that picture of your dog, that was fun. That shows me that you definitely have a fun side because, you know, if you didn't, you'd see that picture and be like, oh, that was really goofy. Some people would say, oh, that was kind of goofy. I'm just going to put it away. But it means something to you because it's out. And I think it's hilarious. Right. Dog in a camper. <laughs> so, so, Nancy, what, what, are, how, what are some ways that we can show people, like, reflect the fun side of our brands? Yeah, we, I know. How do you do that without being totally weird, right? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I know. <laughs> exactly. Like, you know, you can text people from five rows back on an airplane. Let them know. No, I'm never <laughs> living this town. <laughs> I, I, think, I think gifts could be a good way to do that. Exactly. So one of the things that you can do is, you know, when you can personalize the stuff that you do, I mean, I have, um, I have little things that I'll send uh, to my clients and they'll have a moose on it. You know, it, it, just, it just connects in, you know, I've got, um, you know, I got someone else that, that I work with Molly Mahoney and if you know her, I'm sure. But so she, and she sends out stuff. She but. She includes in little flamingo stuff uh -huh. because that's just now. Does she wear flamingo clothing? No. Is she over the top flamingo? No. Neither am I about bullwinkle. But as soon as I see it, I know who that is and what that was from. Or then, and when people I work with see that moose someplace, or they see a little note paper and it has the moose on it. Now, when they go out someplace and they see a moose, they'll be thinking, "Oh, yeah, Nancy." It just comes to mind, and so to be able to have some fun with your brand, um, you know, you find that little, that thing that you you can give somebody and, you know, maybe it's, it is in the gift or it's in a, a um, note card when you send a note card that it has something on it that, you know, they, they know that you know that we're, we're closer than just somebody on an internet. You, you know something about me and here it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna weave the thread on through again. Yeah, I've, I found uh, like last year, and, and so whenever I see it, it makes me think of him. So Pat Flynn is really big on Back to the Future. Mm -hmm. And Mike Alton is, you know, really embraced the Star Wars culture. So, you know, every even once in a while, I'll send something to them, like, you know, or even the way he does a post, he'll say, ah, the force is strong in this one. And so even that allows you to start to have a conversation with some of these people as you get to know you know, what they like. So like now I know if I see any Rocky and Bullwick Cole references, I'll have to tag you with us, Nancy. You definitely need to. You know. And then like, can you see how that that's fun? Because it isn't that it isn't that you're always thinking the only thing he talks about is Star Wars. And you know that's right. not true. You know, like you've built another relationship with him. You you've seen material content that matters, but also you get the person who delivers the content has stepped out of that box a little bit and come out and shook your hand by having this thing that says, you know me a little bit more. Right. So that's how you have a little fun with it. It's kind of like, it's, it's an inside, it's almost like an inside joke, an inside mm -hmm. nudge, you know, without being exclusive. Right. Yeah. Cause it's even been interesting. Um, whether it's like the walking dead or game of Thrones where you have, it's kind of like you have these people that love the Game of Thrones and everybody's talking about social media. And then you have these other people like, I don't understand why anybody watches that show. And it's like, well, I still like you. <laughs> <laughs> right? You're still okay. It's Bye. okay. Well, you know, I'll send you to therapy. But <laughs> you, You'll regret it. You'll, you'll be like the people that didn't want to watch Seinfeld but then caught all the replays 10 years later. And it's okay. Right. <laughs> You know, it's kind of like it. it's kind of like I don't know if you consider this fun or not, but I go to Dunkin' Donuts all the time to get some of my work done because they have Wi-Fi and they have coffee, so it makes me happy. Right? <laughs> right? So I post pictures from Dunkin' Donuts. 
Right. Now when I go to my clients' houses or offices, they have coffee ready for me. And this one client actually bought me like a whole case. I don't know what you call it. A case of Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee. (laughs) It was so nice of him. But wow, it was, and it was like super high calorie, but I did drink it all eventually. And it was super nice of him. <laughs> yeah. So when people think of me, I think they think of Dunkin' Donuts. I, I definitely do. Especially, in fact, I, I was telling a story earlier today, Tim, when I had a meeting with a, with a new client about how um, when we were doing the live show that um, your phone overheated when you were at, <laughs> at, out near a Dunkin' Donuts because he was in the car doing the show and, so we learned a, the lesson was not to have the phone in the sun when you're doing a live stream from inside a car. So don't, uh, don't tell anybody this, but it was outside of a Starbucks. Oh my God. I never thought Tim was like that. Well, that's why he was outside. <laughs> and, right. then I, and then I ended up standing by a windy underneath a windy tree. And it was a very interesting show. Well, you know what? That's why the phone burnt up. I'm just saying. That's right. It was karma. You're yeah, in the yeah. wrong place, dude. You're in the wrong parking lot, mister. That was a, that was a wild day. Yeah. <laughs> You're bagged. <laughs> the universe said, um, I don't think so. We're calling you out on this. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Anyway. Oh, I think we have some comments. Let's see. Oh, Stefan Kaplan. My friend Stefan says, hi, everybody. Just joining we must always share about ourselves, but what we are comfortable with. We all need to share about ourselves in our genuine ways. Always be genuine. Stefan is an amazing photographer. He used to work at the New York Times, and he has a, uh, a, con- a social media. He's a social media consultant. Follow him at Spin It Social. Very cool. And I agree, a hundred percent. Yeah, you know, the overused word authenticity, right? You know, people like to use it maybe too freely, but really it is. It's, you know, you can't pretend. You can't pretend right. to like your Dunkin' Donuts coffee because, come on. Well, yeah, it's it's funny. It's kind of like I, I joke about it, you know, before I um, reconnected and got married to my, to my wife, you know, I went on some of those dating sites and mm. you find there's a lot of people that appear one way online and then when you see them in person you're like oh you're not the same person (laughs) but even but even on linkedin i i have a a friend and i i was in a meeting with him and i didn't realize he was the same person because his photo was so outdated and you know so part of your personal brand you need to make sure everything is is current and fresh you know and uh that's a great point jim you know so yeah. I think that's an inter- an interesting thing that people don't think about because then if that if your stuff isn't consistent, people start to wonder who what what are you hiding or yeah. what's going on? That's I think, the wedgie. That's the wedgie phenomenon. Yes, it's like they you there's something that they can see is wrong, but they don't know what it is. And this is how we are: uh, is we'll we can make up a story in our own mind of why we think the person's uncomfortable or why we think something doesn't fit and not realizing that it's just maybe that they haven't updated their stuff and they're not trying to hide behind it. But you know what? People, others, other humans will make up their own reason for why something was really uncomfortable. Something didn't line up. Something's not right here. And they'll back away. So yeah, the, the real. Fact, I'm going to call out the real estate industry because how many realtors have, Photos they haven't updated in decades. Yeah, we get done and it's on a card. It's done. It's done. Yes, yes. I have to update mine because my eyesight went downhill. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> look at my pictures without my glasses. I'm like, Meh. like who is that person? I used to be able to use my contact lenses, but now I have like I don't know. I, I need like quadruple focus contact lenses so I can see. <laughs> well, you can always you can always have like the hanging glass, right? You know that works. You know, or put them on your head. Yeah. I've done it. I've had two pairs on my head. You do that too? <laughs> I probably, I probably could end up doing that at some point because I'll forget that they're on my head. <laughs> Where are my glasses? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Where, where's my phone? Oh, it's in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us, Nancy. Uh, tell us how people can connect with you, uh, oh. website, social media, etc. Yes. 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 Oh, 
<laughs> so you can connect with me through my oh see david wants you to there know you go. new. good, good job. job david Yay. <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah you can contact me right here in facebook it's that's my platform of choice uh, that's where i live uh electronically uh with uh, miss nancy lewis hill and you could go to my website which will really just take you to a digital card which will take you back to a few options but uh, mycoachnancy.com so come on over let me know you're there and uh, yeah and i go live i go live every thursday night on my business page on facebook so you can catch that so. and and what do you what do you uh, are your live shows about nancy uh the one on thursday night is just all about just what we just talked about here being light and uh you know, getting out of that heaviness, turning the nojo to mojo, and finding the uh, in the heavy world how to stay light in it. Well, if you'd like, drop the drop the link to your show in uh, in the comments if anybody wants to watch it tomorrow night. Now, what what are you using to to go live? Are you using Streamyard? I am intrigued with Streamyard. I like this. Actually. You should try it. I will. It's free. I know that's even a huger bonus. Like yes, yes, <laughs> huger. It's a new word. Come over to the Streamyard world. It's a great world. Right, right. And I've yes. I've dabbled with I've dabbled with a few, and I uh, I haven't been happy uh, with some of the ones that are out there uh, with what I can do with it. So I would scale it all back and just go native directly on uh, Facebook. But that's not what I want to do because I love pulling in guests. So. Ah, now, are you on Twitter? I am on Twitter. Are you a tweeter? I'm. I'm. See, yeah, no, I'm not a. I'm not a tweeting Twitter. Or a, <laughs> <laughs> I, I tweet. I tweet and I, I send little things out there, but you know, like you got you got making tea, right? Oh yes, Making. Yes. That's what it's like. She lives on Twitter. That's her world. Like, and I, I, I walk by her and I'm like. <laughs> I can't even keep up with Twitter. I think that's like it's, it's the pace. But uh, yes, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. But my real, my real platform, where my roots are, it's right there on Facebook. So, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, if you don't mind, I mean, I really appreciate using the platform. If you could just kind of, you know, go stop, easy. Stop changing it every week. <laughs> <laughs> we appreciate it, but. Ah. <laughs> Uh, All right. Well, th thank you, everybody. Oh, thank wow. you, Nancy. And and thank you, Bullwinkle. We love you. There it is. Awesome. <laughs> the biggest Bullwinkle you'll ever see. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. You guys are, are doing a great, great work out there. I appreciate you. being invited on and, and all of you for watching. Thanks. Thank you, Nancy. Bye. Bye.